Good evening. Today we have, um, I'd say more of a mid-level 2v2 on Veldaris Refinery. Our first player right here is Whitehead1981, playing as this idling Grey Knight Bro Captain. The Bro Captain is Virginia a tanky melee hero. Here. He can walk through plants uh, and destroy them instantly. He can swing this big four sword. He does not care about stuff. He just, um... <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. He's a tanky melee hero. He can buff allied troops. He does not get suppressed or knocked down. Yeah. Sorry, I'm blanking out there. But his teammate is Can Crusha as the Inquisitor. The Inquisitor is an Imperial Guard hero. She disables and debuffs. She fights well enough in melee uh, and can even fight in range. Pretty good hero overall. Has some nice abilities. On the other team, we have Miles Go as this Orc War Boss. The Orc War Boss is a tanky melee hero. He is gathering alongside his boys right now. The Orc War Boss can stomp to disrupt. Um, he walks through cover and plants. He can be suppressed, but he cannot be... No, he, he just can be suppressed. Finally, we have Death Marine as this very blue Force Commander. The Force Commander is a tanky melee hero. He can be suppressed. He can be knocked down. He cannot knock over cover. Um, but he's still very good, very tanky. He can punch vehicles. Very good hero overall. So I did say this is probably more of a mid-level replay. Um, obviously, there are a range of skills, of course, when casting. There are the really top-level players. There are players who are more so, sort of like in between mid-level and and top-level. I guess we could call it out like upper mid-level or sub or sub. I don't know. But anyway, uh, the bro captain right here is actually doing very well against these shooter boys. A miles go needs to kite a little more. He's moving one shooter squad away, and he should actually have his war boss engage the bro captain directly. Now that bro captain is getting off a lot of special attacks, and he really sends units flying. Um, but miles should really just focus on making sure he kites with the shooter boys. Like these shooter boys right here should not be fighting the bro captain. Make sure he kites. He can have the war boss uh, directly engage the bro captain. Although the bro captain seems to be getting special attacks off endlessly. Probably because these shooter boys are right here. Uh, on the other side of things, it looks like Can Crusher forced off Death Marine. Death Marine going for a, a fairly light build. He is not getting a second scout, uh, so he only has that first scout. Tactical Marines and the Devastator Marines. All right. So we have some. Purgation squads out for Whitehead. These are a flamer unit uh, for the Grey Knights. Very good as dedicated gen bashers. They also function as basically the tier 1 suppression unit uh, for the Grey Knights. They do need to stand still to fire. They do not have the range of a heavy bolter set up of a basically of a traditional suppression team, whether it's a heavy bolter, a shuriken cannon, or uh, an orc luda. Fight on and drive the enemy back. So, we're about to have some orcs engage. Uh, unfortunately, not such good positioning for Whitehead, and his bro captain is not there. And I think he's, yeah, he's not going to win that fight, not with both the war boss and the Slugger boys just charging in on the uh, strike squad and the brigade. He really needs at least to have the bro captain there, if not just all, all of his army, since that was all of Miles Go's army. Uh, Miles Go. He's capturing with the war boss, which is fine. Should move these shooter boys a bit. I'd say help contribute to the middle. Uh, the shooter boys could probably take down... The combined might of the shooter boys and the sluggers could probably take down that multi-laser turret. Not that he sees it currently, but he's about to walk into it. Um, probably just going for a cap. Shooter boy's still doing nothing. Um, but Can Crusha right here. Can Crusha is our Imperial Guard player. Managed to get behind that Devastator Marine Squad. He should actually tie up the Devastator Marine Squad instead of just using uh, the Holy Brazier. And he loses the sense. Oh, God. That was that was kind of painful to watch, to be honest. Um, I mean, because he got the flank with the Inquisitor. Um, and the Inquisitor with that Holy Brazier does power melee damage. If he goes now, he could still potentially wipe that Devastator Squad. He needs to ignore the Force Commander. And he needs to go now so he can wipe the Devastator Squad. Alright, that was... That was a little hard to watch, to be honest. 
Um, but anyway, um, the war boss has the boss pole. So the boss pole uh, gives um, orcs nearby, uh, gives them a health buff as well as a suppression resistance. 50% less suppression. Uh, and he takes out the bro captain with these storm boys. You really need to res respect those storm boys. They do 150 DPS power melee. That's more than a howling banshee squad. Um, they are terrible at chasing, though, but, I mean, if you leave your units in there against the, the Storm Boys, the Storm Boys will, they will wipe squads and heroes. Uh, I'd say a good purchase from Miles Go. He's already um, ha giving Whitehead a lot of trouble just with his, uh, with the Sluggas and the War Boss. So I think throwing in the Storm Boys right there uh, would uh, really help Miles Go to counter the main... Thing that Whitehead would be using to protect himself from the Sluggos, which would be the Purgation Squad, since it would be easily jumped by the Storm Boys. Salt Space Marines jumping in after Can Crush's Guardsmen. Gar Can Crush ultimately with a, a build that is just not enough, I think. Uh, he lost that one Sentinel. He only got one, he only had went with his starting Guardsmen. Now that's a build that you can do. I've seen some very good players do it. They just get, they don't build a second Guardsman squad. Uh, but one of the things you need to do to make that work, I think, is to get some kind of other unit. The advantage to not getting, to not getting a second Guardsman is that you can uh, instead get some kind of more specialized unit, like a nut, like a, like a heavy weapons team on top of uh, a Katachan Devil squad or, or an artillery spotter squad now in the Elite Army. So a node and a generator went down for the blue team. I'd say that's actually not bad. Now he's jumping Kata Assault Space Marines. Half health Assault Space Marines right into uh, Katachan Devils, which is actually a terrible idea. Don't do that. Don't jump into Katachan Devils. Um, the Inquisitor was also there. Katachan Devils do 20 DPS power melee per model. Um, so you generally don't want units meleeing them. Now, the uh, Force Commander can afford to do it because he has Battle Cry. Uh, he can disrupt them, but now he is in a lot of trouble. He still needs to be very, very careful, and he can still potentially risk getting wiped. Luckily, most of the Katachan Devils were getting disrupted by the Force Commander's Battle Cry. Now, the Katachan Devils at this point should just retreat. There's not much use to that smoke, smoke grenade because I guess, actually, I'm wrong. And Can Crusher is right. He can use his Katachan Devils to cap right now. Um, so he just keeps the capping unit on the field while he can keep the Guardsmen on the field to fight and to also bash these generators over here. So, I'm wrong. Uh, Can Crusher is right. What Can Crusher is doing wrong, though, is not buying another unit. He's floating a bit. He can buy any Tier 2 unit at this point. Um, he's instead getting some kind of upgrade. He's getting a Commissar on his Guardsmen. Not a bit. It's a good upgrade, but he needs units. He needs units. Any unit. I like the positioning on those purgation spots, but unfortunately they are getting jumped. They absolutely murdered uh, those Slugger Boys on approach, though. But now the purgation needs to really, I think, retreat out of there. Luckily, a special attack goes in on the end. The Storm Boy... The Purgation Squad get wiped anyway, so that is the power of the Storm Boys. But the Storm Boys also need to be very careful, or they will get wiped, and I think they just might. Range fire on the Storm Boys does, in fact, wipe them. So, Storm Boys, very much a glass cannon unit, huge damage output, but you're jumping them right into them, basically just right into fight. Uh, where there could be everything there, they already cost a ton to reinforce, and you don't want to lose them, both when they can do such amazing things, uh, and when it's going to hurt you so much to lose them. Can Crush and now going for Ogrens. Technology unlocked That's a beginning. curious choice. I, I think it's... Um, Death Marine does not have any shotgun scouts, so right now, uh, Death Marine's only real... Well, he does have Devastators to counter. Um, he does have Devastators to counter Ogrens. He also has that the Force Commander, of course. Now with the Thunderhammer, so the Ogrens will actually be well countered, uh, even right out of the, right out of the gate. Uh, scouts need to be very careful. Scouts basically should actually just not really be um, a frontline unit like that. He really had his scouts in front. They were behind cover, but they really just should not be that frontline unit taking most of the fire, even if they are in cover. They just don't have that much health, and they don't actually do much. Their focus should really be on capping uh, or supporting in some other way. The Inquisitor is in a little bit of trouble right now. This could be a wipe on the Inquisitor. No, do not use a spell when you're getting um, hit, and that's going to be a wipe on the Inquisitor. She goes down. Quite a few losses. Uh, 
Whitehead actually having quite a bit of trouble in this lane. Uh, not having quite enough to, I think, just stop the melee coming out of Miles Go. And Miles Go actually replaces his Stormboy squad. Hopefully he's a little more careful with this one. Uh, he also got Tank Busters, which is curious. He doesn't need them right now at all. But, I mean, he could just be using them as insurance. Um, Grey Knight players often like to go for that Grey Knight Dreadnought. Uh, and this makes it so that as long as he has these Tank Busters, he won't have to seed the field just when that Grey Knight Dreadnought arrives and he has nothing to counter it. We have 300 points remaining. He already has a counter ready and that will make Whitehead think, just cons think a little more, maybe think twice. Oh. Wow, that was actually a nice grenade. I thought it was going to be a terrible one because it just slightly missed the Devastators, but then the Scouts with one model walked into it. The Scouts should just retreat. You don't want to lose those Scouts. And he could do something a little more useful with those Scouts. Um, or maybe not. His Scouts are his primary capping unit, uh, and he would be probably be better off investing in something else to help him with the Guardsmen. Uh, he, we do have Stern Guard veterans from Death Marine. Uh, they are an elite upgrade to Tactical Marines. They do have Hellfire Bolts, which do damage over time. Very, very effective against regular infantry. They can also use Vengeance Rounds to be effective against the Ogrins. I know, he starts suppressing the Ogrins, but now these Stormtroopers are going to... Oh, they actually run out of energy, so they don't get around the Heavy Weapon Team, but they do charge it, uh, and... Death Marine could not suppress both of those units. Whitehead is really, really pushed back, and he unfortunately just can't take. He's just having too much trouble. He decides to invest in some melee units, some melee units of his own, namely these purifiers. We'll see how that goes. I feel like they could be overwhelmed by the combination of the Sluggers, the Storm Boys, and the War Boss. The Bro Captain, meanwhile, has no melee upgrades himself. So he's still really not that great of a fighter, just with those... Oh, and the Purifier is going in, charging in a little too early, I think. Need to wait for some support. Let's get a smite down from maybe from that Terminator Librarian. And those actually could... Okay, so that's actually not a bad idea from the Purifiers, except for the fact that they're about to get wiped. Purifiers, will they just barely get out of there? They're getting chased down by the Sluggos. One hit, so the Purifiers do get out of there. Um, but the Purifiers, before they got royally screwed, they had actually used um, their ability, their area of effect damage ability, on that entire Orc Blob, and that was very good. That actually, wow, that actually was devastating against Miles. Um, he bled a ton from every single one of his units. So that was um, a somewhat sloppy play from Whitehead, although it did ultimately work. Now, Can Crusher is going with a purely infantry play, and he's exposing his infantry a lot, especially these Katachan Devils. They're getting hit by Hellfire rounds from the Stern Guard veterans. Now they're against the Katachan Devils. Those Katachan Devils, I thought, were going to die. They lose half of their models, which is not a good sign, and they could lose more. So Can Crusher is off the field. With the build that Can Crusher has, he really could consider getting a Chimera, but he is going to Tier 3 instead. Whitehead is also going to Tier 3. Miles go already there. Death Marine has lost his scouts. Um, and he's bleeding a bit from his other units as well. Death Marine is also floating tremendously, which means he's probably going for Terminators. He does have enough red for them. Uh, the Inquisitor does need to retreat out of there. She has been upgraded with that Holy Brazier. We've seen, already seen that. Um, that's a pretty good choice against the Space Marines as long as she can get into melee. But as long as she can, uh, she will be doing pretty good damage with that Holy Brazier. 50 DPS power melee. She does also have that Inquisitorial Mandate. And that will help her get into range since it gives her a speed buff and also makes her invulnerable. Um, although it does not make her immune to suppression. So she still has to watch out for Death Marine's Devastator and not get... His Inquisitor suppressed. So Miles Go is going for a very devastating porky play. He does have, he's got knobs right here. Knobs. And we have some kind of call in. Terminators right there. I, and I like that use of Terminators. Um, there are times when people just call in Terminators just to get the unit. But I like it, since you can call it in anywhere, it's great to use Terminators in a way that will win you an engagement. And right now, Whitehead has Terminators and Knobs on his face. And he really can't, he really does not have enough to deal with that right now. Can Crusher needs to come over and help. No 
Although Can Crusher is holding the middle, so he is holding the VPs. These Catachan Devils. Now, Can Crusher, again, with all this infantry on the field, I think he could use either a Chimera or, maybe more cheaply, he could get a repair bunker. And that would, I mean, not a repair bunker, a medic bunker. And that would also work out very nicely, give him a lot more field presence, allow him to heal these Catachan Devils so he bleeds less from them and then reinforce any units that he ultimately does bleed from. Ogrens are absolutely screwed, and that's got to be a wipe on the Ogrens. The Ogrens are done. They are not getting out of that one alive. Uh, slow reactions, or even no reactions, from Can Crusher. Can Crusher needs to retreat the rest of his units. He does not want to screw with this huge Orc Blob or these Lightning Claw Assault Terminators. So Miles go with that huge orc army. He did lose one Stormboy squad, but other than that, his unit preservation has been very good, and he has six units. He's got a huge orc mob. He's also sitting on enough red to do a rocks. Can crush now going for a Lehman Rusk, potentially risky. Um, at this point, I'd say he should probably go for the um, Executioner upgrade, actually. And we get, oh, these guards been in a lot of trouble there. Look at how much health they lose just from a few strikes from those Lightning Claws. Lightning, lightning Claw Terminators. Oh my god, just retreat the guardsmen. Get them out of there before they die. No, that's going to be a wipe from the guardsmen. Very close. Oh my god, it's going to be very close. I think he will just barely get them out of there alive. The, just the sergeant gets out of there. Inquisitor dies, though. So it's not looking good for the blue team. Double cap against them. In here, unfortunately, I think Whitehead is still fighting just more things than he can possibly deal with. He does have the purifiers. They are pretty good, but, but Miles Go has knobs. Unfortunately, it looks like Miles Go might lose these Slugger Boys, but I think he will just barely get them out of there with that Slugger Boy, with that knob. Whitehead goes for a cap. Um, goes for a cap even while fighting. Uh, I think he, I think he like kind of distracted with all those units that were fighting, and he got the cap off. Unfortunately, Whitehead loses his strike squad right there to these knobs. These knobs are devastating, and Whitehead just hasn't done enough to deal with these knobs. And to be honest, I'm not even entirely sure what he could do with those knobs um, as a Grey Knight player. I think he would really need Grey Knight Terminators, basically. Uh, and of course, that Nemesis Demon Hammer would be very useful as well. Um, but the Nemesis Demon Hammer is not enough to stop him from dealing with all the stuff he has to deal with. He should let them swarm him right now, use the Demon Hammer ability, and then retreat out of there. Now it's time for that Bro Captain to retreat. Okay, so Whitehead did the right thing right there. Still has to be careful. Well, not be careful. There's nothing he can do at this point except that hope his knobs don't kill him on retreat, which I don't think they will. Catachan Devils still bleeding a little too much going against Assault Space Marines in there. They were getting suppressed, so they're taking a lot of um, suppression damage, and the Assault Space Marines could, of course, uh, have used the uh, Merciless Strike ability to uh, knock all of those Catachans down. So we are going to have a melt -a bomb on that Lehman Russ, and the Force Commander has switched to the Power Fist. And we're going to see a Flesh Over Steel right there. That is really, really bad. The Assault Space Marines should focus on the Guardsmen so that they cannot stay here. And, oh, but the Assault Space Marines, I think they retreated prematurely. They should have stayed in there, fought the Guardsmen, so that the Guardsmen could not fire at the Force Commander or repair the Lehman Russ. As it is, the Lehman Russ does, does go down. Luckily, that the Force Commander does such huge burst damage um, that one hit from the Power Fist really does do a lot of damage high game 107 to 107 now a lead for the blue team quite miraculously even though they've got roughly no units well not roughly but they don't have as much compared to um, the other team miles go having as many units as the other team miles go himself having as many units as whitehead and can crush it combined but a vp lead now for the blue team they need to uh do something about that and a land raider crusader drop from Whitehead. Now, this drop I could potentially be risky. Um, he's dropping it right there. Both the war boss and the and the knobs are pretty good counters. I mean, 
Miles Go does have a lot of counters to this uh, Land Raider Crusader already. He could put uh, a Rocket Barrage roughly at the end of the Land Raider Crusader to pressure it to move forward so that his knobs and Warboss could approach. And then if he moves back, he'll just take the full hit uh, of the... And wow, it's actually now a double cap for the blue team somehow. And... So I think the red team, Death Marine, needs to cap the VPs. He will wipe the Katachan Devils, and a grenade from the Stormtroopers wipes them too. Uh, Miles Go needs to use those War Boss Globals. He needs to use Ard Boys. There goes Use Your Choppas. Use Ard Boys as well. And then he could even throw down a Rocks to prevent the uh, to prevent the Land Raider Crusader from going anywhere. But Miles Go loses. He almost loses his knobs, and he's gonna let that Land Raider Crusader get out of there because the War Boss is suppressed. He just needs to send send a, a Rocks in its retreat path or well, its backpedaling path so that it cannot get out of there. He's going for that rocket barrage, and unfortunately it seems to slightly miss, and the Land Raider does not die. The Land Raider gets out of there alive, it'll be repaired to full, but this game will actually end. Alright, actually... It will not end. I was ready to call it. But, uh, one to one cap. Terminator Librarian Idling needs to maybe have a word with those tactical marines or those stern guard, no stern guard no veterans. Receipt. Double cap for the red team. They are at four VPs. These assault terminators are still really just being absolutely devastating. Force Commander gets those guardsmen off the cap and he will absolutely devastate that entire guardsman squad. Death Marine could actually probably the send uh, these Terminators all the way into base. He, he and it, oh, now it's a single cap for the uh, a no cap game, a no cap game. So it's 101 to 1 VP. Where do, where's the best place to even watch? Death Marine is in the base, but he also needs to. Oh no, he's gonna lose his assault Terminators, but he has enough red to call down more. Can Crusher losing all of his units. Whitehead down to... Actually, not down to. He's doing well. Um, and Whitehead does have enough for an orbital bombardment. Might want to use that on some orcs. And it's about to be a triple cap for the red team. Wow, look at how fast those purifiers are going. But there's nothing they can do about that huge orc blob. Uh, and it's now a triple cap for the red team. I thought this was going to be the blue team's game. And Can Crusher himself definitely cannot do enough. We have new Assault Terminators. Uh, in addition to these ones that were actually saved. And the red team will take it. I think so. I have a habit of calling things early, but... There's not a whole lot the blue team can do at this point. Orbital bombardment, just for fun. Won't get to see much of it, though. <laughs> that was crazy. Hope you enjoyed the cast. Have a good night.